Happy birthday, DA. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, happy birthday, DA. We are happy all ready birthday, to go. Happy birthday, sir. Yes, sir. We were going to do we were going to do a collective with all the media saying happy birthday but we can't unmute everybody at the same time. <laughs> that would be so special. I need that. <laughs> but it ain't birthday man, it's game day. So, what's up? All right. Well, let's get it started with Dwayne Rankin Arizona Republic and and after that we'll be Kellen Olson Arizona Sports. Dwayne, go ahead. Thanks DC. First, uh, happy birthday Mr. Aiden, 22. <laughs> Secondly, um, what's it been like having Ricky back? I know obviously he was away and he's been with you guys a couple practice. What's it been like having Rubio back with you guys? It's so funny. The night, uh, the morning before Ricky uh, got there, or I seen him in the training room. I actually had a dream, like, yo, where is this dude at? And the next morning I'm in the training room, I see Ricky getting ready for practice tape. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, bro, you have no idea. I just, like, using my vision, <laughs> like, that you're going to be here. He made practice very easy, though. Um, just knowing our, our personnel, um, getting us in the right spots when we playing our five and zero or scrimmaging a little bit against each other, just you know, just giving us different looks on offense that you know we don't see normally, and you know, just teaching us the game and pushing our pace, keeping our pace, and just keeping the team solid. All right. Next up is Kellen Olson, Arizona Sports, followed by Gina Mizell. Kellen. What's up, DA? Happy birthday. Yes, what sir, are you Greg. looking to get from these three games? Is it more about conditioning for you? Is it just getting back on the court? What exactly is it? Conditioning. Uh, not, Coach Dury took care of conditioning, man. Like, this has been the hardest training camp of my career. I'm not even going to lie to you. Coach really stepped it up conditioning-wise men and men mentally as well. But other than that, these three games, we're just trying to get better. Um, we're just trying to set the tone. You know, playing hard as we normally do, and now we, we now we have our full team in a way. It's like we we've been working these these past months, and you know, doing our individual workouts, keeping in touch with each other, doing off court things as a team. You know, while keeping the rules of social distancing, but just keeping that chemistry together. Now that we're here, it's like you no, know, we've been here before. It's us against the world. You know how it is, and you know, it's just it's just that edge we have. You know, and it's, we just gonna enjoy playing with each other in those three games we have here. All right, Gina Mizell is next, followed by Dave King. Go ahead, Gina. Yay, happy birthday, first of all. Thank you, Gina. You're welcome. Um, just when you look back to when you guys arrived in Orlando about two weeks ago to this point, where do you feel like as a team you guys have pro progressed the most as far as just getting back in the swing of things and, and working together? Uh, we versatile now, I can tell you that. Uh, DA, DA definitely been working, and you can tell that guys been working individual on their game. Like I say, guys got new new bodies, and you know they got new things added to them. So it's like this is this is a whole new team where we just putting great pieces together now, and you know you can tell that in practice that we're older now. Like dudes have grown up. I just, I can say I grown up in a way to where like I'm not just being a robot running the play. You know, I'm the playmaker when I got the ball for real. And, you know, just me seeing the type of dominance and, you know, type of effect I have on both sides of the floor. It just affects the whole game and the whole the whole team is bought in. You know, when we're ready, talking on defense, the whole team is talking and communicating. So, oh, let's just let man. All right. Dave King, Bright Side of the Sun, you are next. Tressa Tudrick to follow. Go ahead, Dave. Happy birthday, DA. What's up, Dave? Appreciate you, big dog. 22, 22 whole years. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're feeling you're feeling more grown up. Like you're really owning owning it on the court, and your and your teammates. You just said are looking more grown up as well. Do you have expectations for how the bubble is going to go, especially now that Ricky is back? I mean, do you feel like you guys can make a big statement in, on in the record area, or are you just looking to play well, the way Monty says? Mm. We, we have two different minds. We, I'm trying to make a statement. I'm not just here all the way in Orlando quarantine in the room for no reason. I'm here to compete to the top level. Um, if I can't say it vocally, I can definitely show, be an example and show that, you know, we're here to, you know, we mean business in a way. And I, I honestly think that the, the time we have had here, our confidence level has actually risen with Ricky being here and, 
you know, just seeing what we got when we play and when we practice is like, you know, we, we can tell we got something. We got something because competing is going to take care of itself. Us playing hard is going to take care of itself. It's just us bringing the stuff we work in the lab on the court. So it's just all got to fall in line. But, you know, we have enough we have enough games to get us prepared for those important games that we have. All right, the final two questions for you, DA. Tressa Tudrick first, and then Cody Cunningham, Phoenix Suns. Go ahead, Tressa. Hey, DA, happy birthday. I hope you have a really good day today and a great game. Um, on that note, is it more exciting being able to play someone other than yourselves tonight? And just what is the energy like? And just... Oh, man. man. I can say this. When, when, it, when it started to get serious, it won't be no dapping up in the hallway or you see somebody else from another team. It won't be none of that when it starts to get to business. When it starts cracking down the business, it's going to be less smiles around the hotel room or around the hotel lobby when you see a different team. So, I uh, me, it's just the environment is just different. I mean, just seeing everybody and, you know, just, I don't know, knowing that we're going to play you play you in the next hour or so and staying in the same hotel. It's just a different environment, totally different environment. And I just can't wait to start playing. All right, final question comes from Cody Cunningham, Phoenix Suns. Go ahead, Cody. Happy birthday, DA. So appreciate uh, you. Just wanted to get your thoughts on being given the opportunity to put social justice messaging on the back of your jersey. And you know, if you plan to put anything on yours and what that's gonna be. Uh, I was planning on putting on uh, respect us. It, it goes, it goes two ways, you know, um, you know, respect what's going on, everybody respecting each other, and, you know, just the Phoenix Suns in the league, us being respected, us showing what we have, and, you know, people respecting what we work for, you know what I'm saying? So it, it just goes a long way with the, with the respect us phrase. So, yeah, it goes on and off the court. That's why I chose that one. A lot of people chose equality. I'm with that. But I wanted to go both ways, not just off the court, but on the court as well. All right. Outstanding. Again, happy birthday to you, DA. That concludes um, availability. Thank you. Thank you, DA. You have a good one. Yes, sir.